all, you know. Uh, I was looking at this law dictionary. They have what's called notice legal. Notice that conforms to the requirements of the law as applied to any specific case. Yeah. <laughs> then they have a, a notice of a motion. Notice from one party to another in a suit that a motion will be made at a court at a certain date time. The nature of the motion will be described in the notice of motion. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that there's quite a few motions that have happened over the last six years. Yeah. Um, then there's the, the notice of appearance. Notice to a court that an involved person is present and will appear in the case. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> then there's what's called a nude contract. <laughs> A contract which no payments will be made. See, nudum pactum, pactum. <laughs> a nude pact, Latin, an agreement in which there is no obligation to pay money, yet a promise to perform an agreement does exist. <laughs> the same as nude contract. <laughs> you know, I, I noticed over the last six years that in the old days before there were computers how would a person know there was a court hearing unless notice was given to the person how would they know that there was a motion of the court now when you petition for an order in uh, july 8th of 2011 but you didn't give the actual notice that i was a party to well it's a type of civil lawsuit. You're wanting to deprive me of my constitutional rights because of the accusation of uh, domestic violence and child abuse. Now, in a suit, um, there's a couple different ways that you have the legal right to deprive a person of their constitutional rights. You can sue the person for custody called a protection order that violates the Second Amendment rights to uh, keep and bear arms. <laughs> you can sue that uh, there's the allegation of domestic violence and child abuse and the accused is deprived of their constitutional rights to due process. <laughs> well, I, I could motion the court, but then I would have to give notice to the petitioner, wouldn't I? <laughs> so, in every motion of the court, notice must be given to the respondent before they can have a court hearing. <laughs> now, I know protection orders are somewhat of a new innovation in the last 30 or 40 years. Does anybody know why protection orders originated? Because it used to be that, let's say, you committed domestic violence, you beat up your wife. Right! You slapped around your kids. Yep. You called the police, the wife called the police, and you get arrested for domestic violence. Now, I don't know if they had protection orders 40 or 50 years ago, but I think that they, they instituted protection orders in the event that there was an actual domestic violence or child abuse individual. <laughs> now... I know the computer says no guarantee that the information is correct. And I've documented numerous times where I thought somebody was going in on the Washington State Court website and changing different uh, letters from big to small or adding in additional lines. I mean, we went through every court website and all the changes that were made, all the unauthorized changes, <laughs> because somebody decided you didn't need to be an employee of the state to be able to change the court's website. Now, without a notice, okay, <laughs> uh, not without a notice personally in writing, direct the person charged to affect a legal matter, <laughs> without a notice of a lawsuit, <laughs> without reasonable notice that there was actually going to be a court hearing and what the what the information was when when you have a notice of action um seems here that there's this is a motion <laughs> they call it a motion hearing that's a motion there's a, a motion hearing now when you have motion hearings and you have a motion to modify and you have a motion hearing and then you have another motion hearing and another motion hearing and a motion hearing and then you have another motion hearing. 
then there's another motion hearing here and then there's another motion hearing there and then there's another motion hearing there <laughs> and then there's another motion hearing there you would think that being named that every court in the United States would make absolutely sure that any named party to any motion hearing where you're suing to deprive me of my constitutional right to father my sons <laughs> that actual notice of the hearing would have to be given to the respondent in every motion hearing actual notice would have to be given to all named parties now there's this thing called nudum pactum an agreement in which there is no obligation to pay money, yet a promise to perform an agreement does exist. <laughs> Let's say you're in oath of office and you got elected to office and I don't have to pay for you to do what you've agreed to do because you made a promise that you would support and defend the Constitution of the United States. <clears throat> As a citizen, once somebody is elected, once they've sworn because the oath is enforceable, they've made a promise that as a citizen I will never have to pay them for to do what they've already sworn because they made an agreement in which there is no obligation to pay money, yet a promise to perform an agreement does exist. I as a citizen have an agreement with every oath of office in the United States. I have an agreement with every notary that if they have knowledge of the law and that I was the, well, I was effectively sued for my custody rights of my sons because of the issuance of a protection order where I was never given any notice and there's no guarantee that what I was seeing on the court's website was truthful. <laughs> Now, I have said that I do not go to court without a notice. I just don't do it. <laughs> now, you might request my presence in the courtroom, but without a notice, without the court order, I'm not going. Okay? Now, I have an example of what a notice to appear looks like. But for every motion of the court, <laughs> where somebody motioned the court, <laughs> the actual written notice to have to appear has to be served on the respondent. <laughs> and for every oath of office that made the promise <laughs> that the, the, the agreement was that they would perform an agreement that does exist, <laughs> the agreement is that they would support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America without me having to pay anything for them to to do what they've sworn. The nudum pactum. <laughs>